All right, Pokey fans, this is what it's come to. My QuickTime player on my Mac refuses to record any screen recordings. Or it does, it's just not uh, playing them back with, you know, non-broken audio and, um, you know, full full video of what I actually took. It's, it's giving me back maybe, at best, 75% of the footage I actually took. So, we're just going to move forward with our in-game trade of Pokemon and take on the Elite Four. Not Tropius and not Morel, but the other four you saw in my party. So, let's just give it a whirl and see what happens. I actually already battled the first dude, the one with all the Dark-type Pokemon. And of course, I can't remember his name as I'm playing this. Uh, phew. You guys will have to let me know. I just got um, Omega Ruby for the... Was that a 3DS title? or I think it was a 3DS title, not a DS title. So um, I'm going to play that on my 2DS, and it, which is a brick of a thing. It doesn't fold, which is kind of funny. But I'm going to play that just to compare the remake of Gen 3 to what we're playing now, Emerald. The OG Gen 3. And... This challenge, if you haven't been watching the other ones, I just get all the in-game traded Pokemon in Emerald, and I use them throughout the game. So we have Caesar, which is Seedra. Started out as a horsey, but had to do a little leveling up for the Elite Four and evolve it into Seedra and get it up to a decent level. So we're here at level 53, and my other Pokemon, they're a little higher because, you know, Skitty is a little on the weaker side, so I need to boost Skitty up into the 60s. For the Elite Four. And what I was kind of noticing is the Elite Four in Gen 3 is kind of splits the difference in terms of the level leveling between Gen 1 and Gen 2. Because if you look at Gen 1, the Elite Four, they start out in the 50s and they cap out, I believe your rival has a level 65 Pokemon at the highest level Pokemon in, in your rival's party. So, low 50s to mid 60s, and then if you look at Gen 2, you start out in the 40s, if not 40 on the dot, and you cap out Lance in Gen 2 has a Dragonite at level 50. And I th yeah, I think that's the highest it goes, which is very interesting. And so Gen 3 kind of tries to play a little middle ground where you start in the high 40s and goes to the high 50s which I get you know for gen 2 having a you know lower level range because there is a, a post game after the elite 4 you battle all the Kanto gym leaders plus uh, Pokemon trainer red so there's a lot going on in gen 2 and I'm very much enjoying my playthrough on my 2ds of heart goal which my buddy picked up for me and it's just everything you loved about gen 2 and it just brings it into the modern age and it's just just a lot better i'm really enjoying it and i haven't even beaten the uh i just beat claire the eighth gym leader in johto and ha and i'm making my way over to um kanto after i take on the elite four so that's gonna be fun but dusclops has given me a little bit of a challenge here with that earthquake and you can see skitty is really struggling and what is that citrus berry Yep, what do you know? 30 health points for Dusclops. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out here because Skitty's having a little issue. Even though Skitty's at level 62, 11 levels higher than Dusclops, you can see how Skitty will struggle in almost every scenario. So Dots is my other, one of my other in-game trader Pokemon. Started out as a C Dot, evolved all the way up to a Nuzleaf, or sorry, is it Nuzleaf? No, Shiftry. Because from it goes into Nuzleaf, and then you have to give Nuzleaf a Leaf Stone to get into Shiftry. And, oh, of course, Full Restore. In any, eh, even in Gen 1, some of the, sometimes their, your opponent's Pokemon will be at just a sliver of health. And they throw in a Full Restore, or Hyper Potion, what have you. But that's no problem, because Dots, Dots pretty, honestly, Dots is the best one on my team. You know, I really thought 
this is gonna be a hard challenge, but you know, shiftery doesn't uh really make it that hard. And especially with its you know diverse move pool. I have a ground type Pokemon. I'm sorry, ground type move. I have a psychic type move, a grass type move, and a dark type move with shiftery, so I'm covering a lot of bases there. And the in the uh what's it called? The uh where are my words? The boosted XP helps out a lot as well. And thankfully Caesar got that blizzard off. Oh, it only does half on Vanette. Wants to bear a grudge. Oh, I thought I was gonna get out of here with the second blizzard, but of course it misses. I'm just gonna keep using blizzard because I believe I have a few ethers in my bag, which I can use to re-up the power points of Caesar's blizzard. If I don't, I have that one berry that reduce or restores PP by 10. Can't think of what that is, and I almost level up. So I'm gonna switch over. Let's see what Pluses has for us. Now Pluses is another in-game trade of Pokemon, just purely electric type. Kind of a, a reimagining of Pikachu, I imagine, but they split it up. They gave it a, you got Pluses, the female version, and then you have Minin, the male version. So just a little, uh, I mean, of course everybody still loves the OG Pikachu as a second Thunder misses. Sableye is one of those weird Pokemon where because of its typing in Gen 3, it has no weakness. The third Thunder misses, wow. And well, of course we're dealing with double team. But Sableye later on gets a weakness to fairy type once those are introduced as a fourth Thunder misses, okay. All right, Sableye, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play your little game of uh, double team chicken. There we go. Keep trying and it will happen. Now just take it out. Perfect. Okay, we're rolling through this ghost type team. Oh, look at that, we're done. So, again, sorry for the, the setup here, but that's what I got going. So why don't I go ahead and just move on as Phoebe was telling me to, just so I can get these knocked out. And then we'll be battling uh, Steven, I believe, is the end game battle here. But let me get Skitty a, did I pass it? I did. Let me get Skitty a Hyper Potion. And Dots could use one. Oh, that's what the messed up, uh, broken audio, poor footage from QuickTime Player did not allow me to show you. I was um, battling the first Elite Four member, and Dots was confused and hit himself with confusion, or hit itself with confusion, took half damage from being confused. I, I've never seen that before. Have you ever had, it wasn't like the other Pokemon was using, you know, um, Screech or lowering, you know, lowering Dots' defense a whole bunch. So I was really uh, perplexed by that one. I don't know if y'all know anything about that, but have you ever you ever had a Pokemon lose half their health by hitting them themselves with their own confusion? I never seen that happen. Maybe a quarter at max, but half was just crazy to me. Okay, I get pelted by hail. This is gonna be a one for a long one here because Blizzard is not very effective against Celio. Neither is Hydro Pump nor Water Pulse as I get paralyzed. Oh, I have Poison Point. I forgot about that. That's, uh, that's a very nice thing to know about. I am, I'm going to get pelted by hail, but that's no problem because I will just use a four store in just a little while. Although that body slam is putting a uh, working on me here. Okay, we got to I'm, I'm highly anticipating this Elite Four member using a full restore on, a, on that Celio there. So, um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use my full restore first. And if I have it timed right, I might get one more jab in there with one of my moves before that Elite Four member uses full restore. Let's see what happens. Because 
the poison is going to take down a little damage, but we'll see just how much. Okay, now they're in the red zone. I'm, I'm pretty certain it's going to happen. Yep, what do you know? Full restore. You know, that, that whole poison thing was really going for us, and now we lost it. Let's see what Hydro Pump does. It's not very effective, but it does more than Twister, I can tell you that. So the hail stops. Let's go back to Twister. We'll see if uh, Celio gets down to a sliver of health again, if Celio will get another full restore or Hyper Potion. You know, hail isn't even, it, those, you know, hail and sandstorm and all those, they're not even that good of a move. They just can be annoying because you have to take time to heal. Like, do these, you know, in-game computer players really think that we're not gonna be stocked up on potions and full restores and all that? Like, we're prepared. So, you can take your hail and you can keep using it. It's just gonna let us um, do our thing and uh, mow down your Pokemon with our big, powerful Hydro Pump type moves. As Celio finally goes down, let's go ahead and level up. 2,056 experience points from the boosted XP. I think, actually, I think Seedra's done learning moves. Let me go ahead and switch over to, yeah, switch over to Shiftry. Kind of getting ready for a um, Giga Drain, but I think Glalie is fully just ice type, nothing else. So let's see what Giga Drain does. Is it super effective against ice? It is not. It's only, it's uh, just water. So it would have been super effective against Celio because I believe Celio is water and ice type. As, yeah, oh yeah, no, I should probably watch out for ice type moves against my shift tree because of grass typing. Does it get pelted by a little hail? I think it's time to pull out an extra sensory which is crazy to me that extra sensory has like an attack power of 80 and it you get 30 power point moves for it as I get fainted off a critical hit go figure let's see what Skitty's got might use the double edge that's like the coup d'etat or whatever the word is I'm looking for that's Skitty's uh, powerful move the end all be all, but it still doesn't faint that clearly. Cool little animation for Icy Wind. As my speed falls, can I get off this shockwave? Oh, I will be able to. No full restore for Glalie, as I almost faint. But shockwave never misses. It has a 100% hit rate without fail. It's like the better version of Swift. Okay, so now, since Acelio is coming in, I'm actually going to switch to Meryl so I can throw a revive on my Shiftry and then hopefully use Giga Drain to wipe out that Celio and regain that other half of my health that I'm not going to have from said revive. Where are you? Here you are. Go over to Dots. And hopefully Celio doesn't use... Uh, move like that or an ice type move against my shift tree once I send it out but or maybe my shift tree will be fast uh, yeah I think my shift tree is faster than the Celio let's uh, see what happens Giga Drain yes plus Celio has a little bit of uh, health missing from that double edge oh not quite but I do get a nice chunk of health back oh boy Shouldn't have said anything. Blizzard incoming. I would prefer the blizzards you get from Dairy Queen. Oh, wow. Of course. Of course I get frozen. You know what? Let's just hang in the pocket. Let's get a full restore going. So I can re heal my status and my health simultaneously. Full restore. What a great invention in the Pokemon world. Okay. Let ah oh, doesn't quite faint himself. Whoops, wrong button. Let me go for. Let me go for extra century. Oh, because I thought that the gym Lee, or elite four leader was gonna heal the Celio, so I wanted to get some big damage on the uh, after afterward. 
Okay. I'm gonna let this happen. I'm gonna use Giga Drain. Wow. The big boy, Walrin, is coming out. Or big girl, I guess, because it's female. I should be able to get full health from this Giga Drain. Wow, that did a good amount of damage. So I get full health. I'm expecting a blizzard. Oh, just an ice beam. Wow. What a nice break. Although it's still gonna, wow. Citrus berry, to be expected. But there's gonna be no full restore from the Elite Four members, so we'll go ahead and use Giga Drain. That should wipe out Wall Rain. Perfect. I wanna take this time to let you all know that um, as you're watching this slightly uh, grainy footage, if you will. You can see the, uh, that, those little, that grid type deal on the screen. You are mounted on at least 15 DVD movies to put my phone at just the right height to record this gameplay. Let me go for a dynamic punch. Nope, didn't expect it to hit. Dynamic punch has an accuracy of 50, I believe. Which, you know, in theory, I should be able to hit this next one. I just want it to... Uh... Oh! What do you know? It actually worked. And fighting type is super effective against ice type, but because that's not Plusil's forte, it doesn't knock it out. But it gives it a 100% confusion rate, which is good. And... I might try to save some of my thunders, go for facades, since I only have four of those thunders left. Uh-oh. How much you want to bet the Elite Four members can use a potion of sorts once I try to use this facade? Knew it. Full restore coming in. So now I might have to try to whip out a thunder. But I'll just use one of my berries after this fat fight. Let's try it. Course misses. Now I'm gonna have to heal. Because I don't want to take the risk of having a thunder miss as I just barely hang on. Hyper potion. You know, it doesn't help that some of these in-game trader Pokemon are not evolved. Like Plusus doesn't even have an evolution in Gen 3. Or maybe not ever. I'm not sure. And subsequently my health points are you know on the lower side 159 at level 62 some of the pokemon would have well over 200 at this point as i try to get one of my last few thunders left in the stock to go there we go will this take it down and does glalie evolve into something else in gen 3 i know it starts out as a smaller thing as a snore run or something like that Snorunk, Glalie, and I thought there was one more after that. Could be wrong. Let's go for Facade. Perfect. Ah, boosted XP. Oh, Glacia is her name. Alright. Whoops. Double click. Okay, let me show you one of those berries I was talking about. It is a Lepa berry. I have 10 of those. I have way too many for my own good. Let me put it on pluses with thunder. And, whoops. Let me go ahead and do a little healing action. Skitty, desperate need. Always in need of healing. These hyper potions are mainly for Skitty. But then I occasionally throw one to uh, skid, or sorry, pluses or dots. And you know what? Let me give one to Citra while I'm at it. Let's just get everybody going here. And actually, I might even just give a revive to Meryl. Just in case I need uh, Meryl to be a uh, substitute or a scapegoat. I have not had any of my Pokemon use Substitute or Run Substitute, kind of ever. Actually, before I battle this 
presumably dragon guy. Man, I can't remember anybody's name from Gen 3. Yep, I'm out of blizzards. So against dragons, you're probably gonna want some blizzards. Let me go back to that Lepa. Eat a Lepa berry. Get some more blizzard going. All right, let's give this a whirl. Ah, oh, Drake the Dragon Master. There's always a Dragon Master waiting for at the end of these Elite Four battles. But actually, Gen 4, I hope they mix it up a little bit. Because I have two copies of Platinum, actually. One that doesn't work, or doesn't save, and another one that presumably does. Okay, Shogun, taste my blizzard. Of course. To be expected. Let's try it again. Perfect. And I'm only two levels higher, but I should be pretty good. It's just a Shogun, it's not a Salamence. Oh, nice. As it makes a weird noise as it goes to the fainted side of things. Altaria? I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm not quite sure what Altaria's moveset is, but I'm gonna go for a blizzard. Oh. Raise some abilities, no doubt. Attack and speed. Very fitting for a dragon type. Although Atari doesn't really look like a dragon to me, so. Well, I guess it does come from that little Swablu thing, which is not a dragon type. I think it's just normal and flying. As Blizzard just takes down a second one. Man, look at that boosted XP. Okay, Kingdra, my namesake per, per se, with the uh, Seedra here. So let me go to Dots. Oh, actually, no. Nah. Pluses would not have been the best choice because Thunder type is not very effective against dragon, but super effective against water, so it does equal out. Let me go for extra sensory. Not much damage, not much. Why don't I, in that case, go for one more, and then maybe a Giga Drain if I need it. A lot of stat boosting, but not a lot of attacking. Interesting from the Kingdra. Okay, at this, yeah. Let me go for the Giga Drain and see what happens. Well, cue that. I'm definitely going to need it. And this should be super effective. It's not. I thought Grass was normal against Dragon and super effective against Water, which means it would be super effective. Clearly not. Of course, Floor Store to be expected. Um, let me roll the dice and try a dig next round. See if that does anything more. As I get body slam. Okay, actually one more body slam is gonna take me out. So I should try to see if I can heal after this. As dig does not very much at all. Let me go into the bag. The bag is always saving us, getting us out of a pinch, out of a hairy situation. All right, full health, body slammed. Oh, of course I get paralyzed, which means that, yep, they're gonna get to go again. But I do get the Giga Drain off. Again, just barely doesn't get do it for me. Let me do a forest store so I can get rid of that paralyzation. Paralysis, maybe that's the more appropriate English word. Another body slam. Will Drake heal here? No, he'll just choose to have Kingdra keep attacking, which is good for us. Spoke too soon. What a bummer. All right, let's bring out Kingdra's uh, previous form. See if a uh, twister won't knock it out. Yikes. Hope that doesn't knock me out. Oh, perfect. That's all we needed. Caesar, have a level up. Level 55. 3,525 experience points. 
Flygon. That's ground. Oh, actually, we might... No, let's go for Skitty and Ice Beam. See what that does. Because Shockwave is not going to affect ground and flying, I don't believe. Because of the ground typing. So let's see if... Ice Beam. Oh, we only have one left. Whoops. We probably should have used the Lepa Berry. Wow, that does a lot. But Ice Beam also does a lot. Um, 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 um. Actually, that's going to be a, a little bit of a thing. Let me do this. Sorry, Meryl, you're going to have to get sacrificed. Of course a full restore was used. It's textbook. Okay, let me see if I can use uh, Lepa Berries mid-battle. Oh, I can. Let me go for, where you at, Skitty? Ice Beam? Oh no, will Meryl hang on with only 10 health? Oh, what a surprise. Meryl goes down. And let me pull, let me pull Caesar. See if he can hang on from a uh, trusty earthquake. Probably not. Yep, didn't think so. Okay, I'm gonna sacrifice Tropius in the name of Hyper Potions. Where are you? I should probably be a little worried because I'm probably going up against the Salamance next. Yikes, flamethrower. This Flygon is no joke. Okay, let's go for Ice Beam. Really? Really? Wow. That's just perfect. As an Earthquake is probably going to wreck my pluses. So, yeah, Thunder's not a good idea. Let me whip out the Max Revive. Not the best idea, but let's just go for it. Let's see if Pluses hangs on. I don't think so. I think Plus is going to get wrecked by this. Yep. So actually, my lower level Pokemon... Actually, I might have to get Shiftry back in at some point. Well, let's see if a Blizzard... Okay, interesting. Wow, of course. Okay. Dragon Breath. Okay, let's, oh, so, wrong button, let's go for Blizzard. Six health, will the Blizzard take it down? It's all or nothing right here. It does, it very well does. And now it's one on one, I have six health. <laughs> Oh, this is hilarious. Um, yeah, about that. I'm gonna have to use this Max Revive. I'm gonna go for Dot. Because I think that's my best option right now. Rock Slide, get wrecked, Caesar. Okay, so we know it has Rock Slide, it probably has Flamethrower, which is going to be interesting right now. Yup. Is it going? Oh, it doesn't take us out. Wow, critical hit. Of course, Citrus Berry. Okay, okay. Think, think, think. 
Let me try the, the heal and attack game. See what that does. Um, Dragon Claw. Okay. Oh boy. If he uses Flamethrower, I'm very much done. Let me just stall just a little bit more. See what's out there. Okay, so Flamethrower probably does more than 100. Oh boy. Yup. Who to revive? Who has a stanza chance? Skitty has Ice Beam. Let me go. Ah, oh, man, it's so risky. Let me go Caesar, just see what happens. We just need one of these guys to hang on. Just for a turn. Okay, Salamence is probably faster. Actually, Cedra has one blizzard. We might be able to just get this off. Oh, well, never mind. Forget that. All right. Well, looks, you, looks like you guys are getting one more run through of the Pokemon League after I level up a bit. Thanks for watching. Just to give you an update of where I'm at on Pokemon Emerald, my in-game trades challenge, playthrough. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.